The purpose of this uh, analytic is to look at type 1 and type 2 decision analysis in terms of its use of looking at uh, of the selection of products to be used on dairy herds. Um, here we can turn to um, the famous 2 by 2 table of where in reality a product either has a positive response, the response is real, and furthermore that it works and it is above break even, and that would be the correct decision. Uh, the other um, could be where the product does not work. In other words, there's no response. And depending on what the decision maker makes in terms of using the product or not using the product, they stand the risk of making two correct decisions and two incorrect. And, and what we're going to do is explore the, the incorrect decisions in terms of their frequency and cost. Now this looks very much like uh, statistics where uh, we would look at where the researcher would assume that a difference exists uh, when in fact it does not and we'd call that the type 1 error. And in statistics we look at the frequency of that error, in economics we're interested in the cost. And the other error is the beta error of where uh, there is a true response but the producer decides to not use the product or the researcher assumes that it doesn't work when in fact it does and that's an incorrect decision we call that type 2 uh, with a beta probability and so what we wanted to look at is the the uh, economics of both of those so um, on a marginal basis uh, we can look at uh, we know that uh, when we use a product the feeds gonna go up plus the cost of the product and what we're hoping is that the marginal response exceeds this area and of course um, uh, cows have a fixed uh, uh, cost of uh, maintenance that uh, cancels out and therefore we're only looking at the marginal and what makes this interesting of course is that the response can be variable and so here we're looking at what the distribution of the response might be where we've dialed in a mean response of 10 pounds with a standard deviation of 3 and of course as we change these parameters the shape of the curve changes. We also have what the break-even level of milk is. So in other words based on the value of milk, if milk is more valuable then we need a lower break-even response. As the milk price goes down we need a higher level. Uh, if the cost of the product is higher uh, we need more of a milk response to feed uh, to pay for the product and similarly for feed cost and so we have the basic um, uh, uh, inputs that go into uh, the um, uh, looking at uh, this economics now we can see the frequency of the response and uh, what we're really interested in is what we call the um, uh, the expected value. So here we're looking at what the response is and whether the expected value is positive or negative. So when it's negative we're in the area of type 1. This is where the response is below break even and uh, we've used the product and therefore we're losing money and so we're committing a type 1 error. You can see the cost of that is very very small. Conversely a type 2 error where the response is above break even, where break even is near 5, uh, the value of this error on an expected value basis is about 45 cents per cow. So if I'm going to make a mistake, I will make a mistake of the type 1 error where I use the product and stand the risk that it might not work because the cost of making the wrong decision um, uh, uh, when I fail to use the product is much higher. Uh, we can also look at this on a cumulative basis, so this is the cumulative curve. So we can see that when I put the curve right over here, uh, there's about a 5% chance uh, that the response is below break even. So I have a 5% risk. Um, and uh, these are curves, these cumulative curves are what we use to, um, to evaluate uh, stochastically when you have multiple products. Uh, so it's a fun little tool. Uh, we have some pro some products uh, uh, bicarb that uh, 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 were based on some data that we had in here previously uh, from some studies in terms of what its milk response is. Thank you.